Hey guys, we are out here in Savannah at one of the most beautiful lookouts on the map. Look at the scenery on this map. But today what we're actually gonna be talking about are new maps. We are getting a new map coming to Call of the Wild probably in just over a month's time. So it is time for those clues to start popping up and I have found what might be a clue. It's very hard to tell whether something is actually a clue or not in game, but if we are going to be finding clues, we are around the right time right now. They should start popping up. Now, EW doesn't always put clues in the game. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but let's have a look at what I found and see what you guys think of it. Now guys, as we go through the video, definitely let me know in the comments which map you are hoping for for the next map and what species you would like to see on it. Now before we have a direct look at what might be this clue, I just wanna talk about clues for a second. Now clues can be found in the game. They can be as simple as items that have been planted in the game that we have never seen before and trying to figure out what it means. It can be something outside of the game. It can be a post put up by EW. And like I mentioned before, sometimes they don't even do clues at all, but let's have a look at what I have found. Let's do it right now. Okay, so this is the Hunt Club beta from a few days ago. I did record it because I didn't have time to put this video out right away. So this challenge under Hunt Club beta is called the Cradle of Mankind. And if you look at the wording, it is very interesting. So what Hunt Club beta is are basically a set of daily challenges and weekly challenges to help us to reach for goals in the game and earn cash. The day this popped up in the feed, the second challenge was called the Cradle of Mankind. And it says here, Harvest wildlife in Africa. It doesn't say harvest wildlife in Savannah. It says Africa. So could that be meant to entail more than one African map? Is this a deliberate clue? Is this just a slip up by EW? Or is it meant to tell us that maybe there is another Africa map coming? We just don't know. But what do you guys think? And how excited would you be to see an Africa 2.0 map come to Call the Wild next month? I would be so beyond excited. What we are going to do now is have a look at the species that we might see on this hypothetical Africa 2.0 map. So let's start by looking at what the top 10 most rewarding safari animals are to hunt in Africa and see how many of those we already have in the game. Now, six out of these 10 animals are already on our savanna map but there are four that are not. Let's see what they are. So number 10 is leopard. We don't have that on our current savanna map and I would love to hunt leopards in Call of the Wild. Then we have the eland, another species we don't have in game yet. And I would absolutely love to see this on a second Africa map. We do have the warthog. We do already have springbok. And of course we do already have Cape Buffalo and the Gemsbok, but we don't have zebras and I would absolutely love to see zebras added to Call of the Wild. It would be very difficult for them to pick which species to put on a second Africa map because there are so many to pick from. I actually didn't realize how many animals that are commonly hunted in South Africa. And then we have the Greater Kudu. And if you will recall, actually they were almost added Greater Kudu as a backfield species to Savannah back in December. It was actually announced and then changed afterwards. So I think EW already has been working on Greater Kudu for a backfield species or for a new map. We just don't know. Maybe it is for that new map, Africa 2.0. Blue Wildebeest, we definitely already have in the game, probably the most common diamond and then the Impala. We don't have Impalas in the game yet, so that is their top 10 list, so that's very, very interesting. But it just gets me very excited. There is just so much potential for an Africa 2.0 map, and I honestly think it would be the most popular DLC map to ever come to Call of the Wild ever. What do you guys think? If we were to get an Africa 2.0 map, what species would you like to see on it the most? Now, more than likely, we will still have lions on the map. That would be a copy and paste species. We would have Cape Buffalo. We probably would still have Gemsbok and maybe Springbok, but I would love some new species. But it's all the new species that would make us the most excited and having a completely different Africa map to hunt on. So I went to the internet and had a peek and what I actually put in for a search was what are the most hunted animals in Africa? And this is what came up. So here we have a site, trophy hunting with Trek 
Africa hunting and they have a category for dangerous game and that shows an elephant and I don't think I could ever really shoot an elephant in real life. They're way too glorious, amazing, huge animals. I really don't think I'd have it in me, but pixelated I could shoot an elephant. I could definitely get into that. Planes game and hunting packages. So let's click in here for a second. So dangerous game hunting and these are the species they have listed and I thought you'd find this interesting. We have elephant, lion, cape buffalo, leopard, black rhino, hippopotamus, white rhino, crocodile, brown hyena, and spotted hyena. So that's their dangerous species list. So we already have lions in the game, cape buffalo, and I think that's it for this list. Can you even imagine hunting elephants in Call of the Wild or leopards or any of these species? It would just be the height of the game, really. It would be the most exciting exciting release ever to come to Call the Wild. Hippopotamus, oh my gosh, yes please, and hunting a white rhino. And even just adding crocodiles wouldn't really be that big a difference from the alligators that we already have in Mississippi Acres. And I've always wanted to hunt hyenas. They're nasty, nasty creatures, but I would be totally okay with putting a bullet in one of those. Now the one topic that comes up quite a lot when talking about adding a second Africa map is what about endangered species? Now yes, a lot of the species that we probably just talked about are endangered species, but don't we already have some endangered species in Call of the Wild right now? Are lions not endangered? I would have to do some research, but one way to get around this would be to possibly charge more for this DLC map and give a portion of the proceeds to protecting wildlife. I'm sure us hardcore players, I'm sure a lot of people would have no problem paying a few extra dollars and have that extra income go towards protecting endangered species. That's definitely one way they could get around it. And it would be a really great thing to do. <laughs> and it would make the players very, very happy. But if we are not getting an Africa 2.0 map, what map are we getting? Ooh, that's a big piggy. Now other options for maps that I am hearing in the community that people would like to see would include a jungle map, possibly an Asian map. I know some people don't want to see another North American map, but Africa is definitely not that. I would like to see something like a Northern Canadian map or any Arctic map. I would love to see muskox added to the game, Arctic fox, Arctic hare, snow geese, things like that. That would be amazing. But quite honestly, for me, any new species, any new map will get me very, very excited. New content from Call of the Wild for me is like Christmas and my birthday all rolled into one. I could not be more excited for anything all year long. And that time is almost here, guys. It is almost here. So I just wanted to get the ball rolling, get you guys thinking about clues, keeping your eyes open because clue time is almost upon us and it shouldn't be that much longer before we do see a new map coming to Call of the Wild. Let me know in the comments which map you want that to be. Thanks for watching guys and we will definitely see you guys soon. Click right here guys to learn all the very best hotspots and everything you need to know to hunt in Savannah.